Hello everyone. It's a great day to learn something new. So let's get started. So before starting the actual video, let's understand the word vitamin. So it is derived of two words, vital and amines. So vital is something that is very essential for living and amine it is a group of it is a, a compound known as amino acids so that that makes up the vitamins so that is vital amino acids required are called as vitamins now coming to the classification of vitamins how are vitamins classified so they are classified on the basis of their solubility so the substance in which the vitamin gets dissolved is on what basis the vitamins are classified vitamins that are soluble in fat are called as fat soluble vitamins so the vitamins in this class are vitamin a d e and k coming to the water soluble vitamins so this group includes the b complex vitamins that is all the vitamins that are included in the b complex uh, those are uh, those come under water soluble and vitamin c so these are the vitamins that come under water soluble vitamins So vitamin A, the biochemical name of vitamin A is retinol. Now what are the sources of vitamin A? So there are actually two sources. First one is direct retinol that is direct vitamin A supplied from food sources and the second is carotenes that is the precursor of vitamin A which gets converted to vitamin A inside the body. So the sources of retinol that is the active form are liver, kidney, egg yolk, fish oils carotenes that are the precursors the sources of carotenes are carrots spinach mango pumpkins and papaya these are just some of the sources there are many other sources as well okay so that was the sources of vitamin a now coming to the physiological functions so physiological functions uh, refers to the functions that the uh, specific vitamin performs in the body so that is called as physiological functions so the first and very important uh, physiological function of vitamin a is maintenance of the normal vision in reduced light so as we know vitamin a is very important for uh, functioning of the eye so uh, vitamin a actually is important to see in dim light so in dim light when the light is reduced it is actually the vitamin a that synthesizes certain enzymes in our eyes through which we are able to see so that is the first function second is maintenance of uh, maintenance of structure and function of specialized epithelium so specialized epithelium is the lining of certain internal organs of our body like the respiratory system uh, the uro, uh, urinary system so that is uh, the lining is called as specialized epithelium so immunity is our uh, is the ability of the body to fight infections so uh, to build a good immunity we require vitamin a next is the antioxidant effect so this is this effect is uh, produced by beta carotene that is the precursor of vitamin a so when we uh, ingest beta carotene it has an antioxidant effect now what is antioxidant effect so when we eat certain foods uh, or exposure to certain uh, substances creates free radicals in our body so if these free radicals are not destroyed in time they give rise to a uh, harmful effect such as mutations and uh, cancers so to prevent this the uh, the antioxidants they bind with the free radicals radicals and they neutralize them so that uh, that helps in preventing certain harmful diseases such as cancers okay so that is uh, another effect or physiological function of vitamin a now what is the rda so rda the full form of rda is recommended daily allowance so what is the recommended value or the uh, amount of vitamin a that we should have every day so that is called as recommended daily allowance so that is 3500 international units for men and 2500 international units for women so international units also called as iu is a measure of uh, the content of vitamin a or content of any vitamin in uh, general so that is 3500 for men and 2500 for women coming to the deficiency disorders what happens in our body when there is a deficiency of vitamin a so lesions of the eyes are called as ocular lesions so the very first and the most common is night blindness so night blindness is the inability to see in dim light or reduced light so that is called as night blindness next if this is not treated in time then it progresses to xeropthalmia so xeropthalmia is uh, characterized by dryness of the conjunctiva or the ophthalmus in general so a drying is called as xeropthalmia 
if this is not treated then it progresses to keratomalacia so keratomalacia uh, as the name suggests this keratinization of the uh, eyes so uh, it is characterized by excessive dry eyes if the keratinization progresses even further then it gives rise to a keratinized spot or um, more than one spots in the eye called as bitted spots so these are usually triangular opaque spots that uh, that are visible in the eye so that are called as bitted spots if this is not treated in time it goes on to scarring which may uh, which may further result in permanent blindness so these are the ocular lesions of vitamin a deficiency now what are the cutaneous lesions cutaneous is uh, refers to the skin so what are the manifestations of the skin due to vitamin a deficiency so that is known as xeroderma so xeroderma is a condition characterized by dry scaly skin due to keratinization so excessive keratin is deposited in the skin resulting in dry scaly skin so that is xeroderma okay now other lesions so that first one was ocular second is cutaneous and what are the other lesions or other manifestations that happen so first one is keratinization of the respiratory pancreatic and the urothelium so these are specialized epithelium as we saw in the physiological functions that is here you can see specialized epithelium so all these um, the lining of all these systems is done by the specialized epithelium so which requires vitamin a so in the absence of vitamin a this uh, this will be defective due to which there is an increased risk of infection next is bone growth retardation so due to uh, vitamin a deficiency there is retarded bone growth especially in growing children next is immune dysfunction so we saw here that immunity uh, vitamin a plays an important role in building immunity so in the absence of vitamin a there will be an immune dysfunction so that was the video about vitamins hope you guys liked it see you in the next video bye